Hello champions, welcome back. So today we're finishing up our little mini-series about working towards those goals, that goal, or shipping your life a little bit, <clears throat> sculpting your life, to try and pursue a goal. And in this last video we're going to be talking about compensating for difficulties. So this can be things like skills you don't have that you can't learn or that you haven't learned yet or in the process of learning but you need to somehow work with now. It can be... Uh, there's a long list of finances, um, people, etc. Uh, quirks and so on. So there's a lot, some people will spend a lot of time trying to build up skills and qualities they don't have to levels where they are proficient in them and force themselves to be good at them despite them being not a skill that works with them and by that i mean they can do they can walk the walk they can sit there and they can say all the right things but something still seems a little bit off like they can do the business talk or they can do the socializing but well they and the people they talk with know that they're socializing while what right something just seems a little bit off like they're not a bad person but they're not the kind of person that you might invite to a party. The party. Um, there's someone you might talk with for business. But, you know, and you might give them the good business deals, but maybe they slip your mind when you're talking about, for some reason. There's someone that you don't remember. And that doesn't do well for the individual. And it's not necessarily at any fault for the individual. They could do all of the hard work to try and grow their social skills. They can do all the hard work to grow their acumen and such things. And yet something still be missing. And what I'm getting to is that sometimes some deficits some lacking points in our skill sets sometimes the best thing to do is not to spend excessive amounts of time filling them in you need to find the places where your time is best spent and sometimes your time and energy is not best spent in filling in a skill that you don't have sometimes it's best spent in outsourcing that skill or that function to someone or something else for a small amount and i don't mean you just send everything over to ai i wouldn't recommend that at all i'd actually recommend people over ai can ai do small menial tasks very well yeah um do people cost more yes do people make mistakes yeah so does ai I would still recommend the people over AI any day of the week, especially since you're helping your neighbor pay their bills instead of helping the person who owns AI, the servers who's already getting paid. <clears throat> but that's just my opinion on that. But you have to find what delegation and where those delegating sectors are to best work with your skill set so that you can improve most efficiently those things that you need to improve about yourself to reach that goal. Now you might not have anything that needs to be outsourced. That's awesome. That's even better. You might just have things that need to be improved or compensated for in small ways that you can do yourself. That's awesome. You can do it. Whatever it is, you can do it. You can find that way. 
all right? You've got this. You are loved. You matter. And I'll see you 